On behalf of the government of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, it is my immense honor to welcome Your Excellency Minister Khush Narinko and the esteemed Belarusian delegation to Pakistan. On behalf of the people of Pakistan, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to all the participants for convening this seventh session of the Pakistan-Belarus Joint Ministerial Commission on Trade and Economic Cooperation. Pakistan and Belarus have long shared a bond rooted in mutual respect, trust, common interest. Our two countries have nurtured a strong, fragmental relationship over the past years. And today, it continues to evolve in a more meaningful partnership. This relationship, built on a foundation of brotherly ties, has been further strengthened through our consistent engagements in political, economic, and cultural spheres. Together, we have demonstrated that despite the geographical distances, the ties that bind our nations are resilient and based on common values and aspirations. Excellency, the Pakistan-Belarus Joint Ministerial Commission serves as a vital platform for reinforcing our long-standing bonds. I'm pleased to note that since the establishment of the Joint Ministerial Commission, we have made significant progress in strengthening our bilateral ties. The convening of sixth session of the JMC in such a short span is a reflection of the cordial and fraternal relations between our two countries. I wish to extend my sincere appreciation to both sides for their hard work and dedication in preparing for the seventh session, and I'm confident that the discussions we to hold today will pave the way for even deeper cooperation between our two brotherly nations. Commerce and trade have been an important cornerstone of our mutual collaboration. Leadership of both the countries is fully cognizant of the fact that potential for economic and commercial cooperation between the two great nations has not been fully tapped. In 2023-24, total trade volume was 34.88 million with exports of hardly 0.39 million from Pakistan and imports of 34 million from Belarus. However, there is considerable potential that still needs to be explored. We must prioritize expanding trade volumes by exploring new markets and diversifying their export portfolios. Here, the role of forums such as the Joint Business Council is critical. And it is encouraging to note that the sixth session of the Joint Business Council will be organized later this year. With both sides exploring optimal logistic routes and liberalizing, and liberalizing visa regimes for business facilitation, the groundwork has been laid for a more seamless and mutually beneficial trade relationship. I hope that both sides can expedite the signing of the Roadmap for Comprehensive Cooperation as a step towards further trade enhancement. Excellency, I would like to extend a warm welcome to Belarusian investors to explore the abundant opportunities in Pakistan under the platform of the Special Investment Facilitation Council. The SIFC has been established as one-stop forum to streamline and facilitate foreign investment across key sectors, including agriculture, energy, technology, and infrastructure. With investor-friendly policies, incentives, and a commitment to ease of doing business, Pakistan offers a promising environment for Belarusian businesses 
seeking to expand and collaborate in joint ventures. We look forward to building long-lasting partnerships that will drive economic growth and mutual prosperity for both nations. I see tremendous opportunities for cooperation in the industrial field among our two nations. I look forward to greater interaction between our two nations, particularly through joint ventures in sectors like textiles and automotive manufacturing. We are keen to explore opportunities for technology transfer and establishment of joint ventures in industrial and agriculture sectors for production of machinery compatible to our needs in terms of size and adaptability. I hope that Mintz Tractor Works, Mintz Automobile Plant and other engineering companies will lead in this area by establishing joint ventures with their counterparts in Pakistan. Further, it is my hope that both sides can explore the potential of small enterprises and a joint entrepreneurial ventures through a collaboration between a small and medium enterprise development authority. Pakistan and the Belarusian Fund for Financial Support for Entrepreneurs. By building these partnerships, we aim to enhance our industrial base, create new jobs, and promote the transfer of technology. Excellencies, I believe that the field of agriculture mechanization offers immense opportunities for collaboration and Belarus expertise in this field can significantly support Pakistan effort, Pakistan's efforts to modernize its agriculture sector. By deepening these partnerships, we can ensure sustainable growth and mutual benefit for both nations. I hope that forums such as the Joint Working Group on Agriculture can help address the key, these key goals by facilitating cooperation between Pakistan and Belarus in the exchange of technology, expertise, and best practices. In light of the global challenges related to food security, cooperation in these fields has become increasingly vital. Our countries have a tremendous opportunity to share these knowledge technologies and best practices to enhance agriculture productivity and sustainability. There's a need for diversification of our current agriculture portfolio. I look forward to expansion of the current supply of agriculture exports from Pakistan to Belarus and vice versa. Excellency, as we move forward, we must also recognize the shared responsibility of both countries in combating climate change. I propose greater collaboration in the fields of environmental sustainability, renewable energy, and clean technologies. Pakistan and Belarus must work together to ensure the early finalization of draft memorandum on cooperation in the field of environmental protection and draft memorandum of understanding in the field of emergency situations. I believe that our people-to-people -people ties are the cornerstones of our relationship. Cultural exchanges, educational partnerships, and tourism can bridge gaps and deepen our understandings of one another. The Joint Working Group on Tourism is playing a crucial role in furthering our agenda in this field investing in our future generations by forging partnerships in the field of education, innovation, and science and te technology is vital for our common development. I'm encouraged by the potential for collaboration between Pakistan and Belarus, particularly through joint research initiatives, academic exchanges, and technology transfer programs. I hope that both sides can develop further looking initiatives in these fields through the joint working groups on education and science and technology. 
Let me conclude by reaffirming Pakistan's strong commitment to deepening its collaboration with Belarus across all sectors. It is my earnest desire that discussions held by technical teams of both countries will yield concrete results for enhancing bilateral trade as well as cooperation in respective spheres. I'm confident that inshallah, with the spirit of cooperation and friendship that defies our ties, we will continue to achieve remarkable progress in all fields. Thank you very much.